It is 547. This weekend, hundreds of people will wear purple to raise awareness for pancreatic cancer. It is the Purple Stride Las Vegas 2019 Walk Run. Here with us, Rebecca Shanahan from the Pancreatic Cancer Network and Kathy Nelson, both of you taking part in the event this weekend. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having mm -hmm. us again. The coffee is starting to kick in a little bit. No. Is it a little bit. The, no. the non-existent coffee? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's a work <laughs> in progress. All right, so let's talk first of all, foremost, about the uh, Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, what it does, and how, how it helps people here in the community. Sure. The Pancreatic Cancer Action Network is the go-to organization for those impacted by pancreatic cancer. We're attacking this disease from a variety of angles. We focus on clinical initiatives, research, patient support, and advocacy. Well, Kathy, tell us also how you got involved with Purple Stride, um, with, with the affiliate, and, and just your involvement in this uh, organization. Um, well, I lost my husband to pancreatic cancer yeah. a little over three years ago. Um, and this is one of the hardest ones to detect. You know, I mean, by the time they find it, usually it's nine times out of ten, it's too late. And it's also one of the most painful cancers to ever have to experience. Mm -hmm. And so once I lost him, I just became a little bit more involved. And this year I joined the committee and even did that. So, How, how would you characterize the outreach here in Las Vegas? What more needs to be done and what is currently being done to, pe to get, let people know about the importance of detection and just the, uh, this issue? Uh, we're doing a lot of fundraising. Um, our website went down last night, so that kind of hurt us a little bit this time. Mm. But we're doing a, a lot of fundraising. We still need lots of volunteers, so you know they can call up and volunteer behind the scenes, you know, in the front, you know, however they want to do it. Um, and we're just um, even doing things like going to Washington D.C. on Capitol Hill and, and trying to get some bills passed and stuff like that. Because testing for pancreatic cancer, there's no testing for it. Mm -hmm. And so that's the reason for doing all the fundraisers to get more testing done so we can catch it early. Sure. The Pancreatic Cancer Action Network has given $56 million uh, in research to support research for early detection initiatives, um, genetically profiling tumors to get uh, more personalized medicine. and. Um, Kathy touched on the fact that this is a very deadly disease. Currently, it's the only cancer with a five-year survival rate in the single digits at just 9%. And to answer your question um, about what people in the community can do, um, be vigilant. If you know something is just not right with your body, be your own advocate with your healthcare professionals because lots of times they will um, not diagnose it correctly and that's why this cancer is so deadly because there are no mammograms that has surpassed breast cancer to become the third leading cause of cancer deaths and is expected to become the second by 2020. It's by 2020. So important to, to be proactive. So behind us you can see the Purple Stride 2019. It's a big event here uh, March 23rd, uh, fifth annual yes, Purple Stride. Big deal. And we have, we were just talking about this last night, we have doubled our number of participants in the really? five, in five years. So Fantastic. It's really exciting. So for people who want to take part here, we've got some information on the screen, but just give us some of the, the details of uh, what's going to be going on on the 23rd. Sure. As Kathy mentioned, registration has been extended till 6 p.m. tonight. You can register day of event at 7.30. Opening ceremonies will start at 8.15, walk and run starts at 9, and if you, everybody needs to eat afterwards, so <laughs> check out Brio and Miller's Ale House, and they'll be doing a 20% give back that day as well. Such a wonderful and such an important cause. Uh, wear purple, walk purple, do what you can to help. Thank you both for coming in, Rebe uh, and uh, Kathy, again, sorry for your loss, and uh, do what you can to get out to the Purple Stride this weekend.